Hi, Deirdre McNamara here again from Letterkenny IT. Uh, I'm demonstrating Aloha EPOS software uh, at the moment. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at the use of modifiers. So in the previous vid video, we set up uh, two new uh, items. We had um, a submenu called cheese, and within the submenu, there were two items. There was the Irish cheese platter and a French cheese platter. Now, with each of these platters, um, customers are allowed to choose either to have it with brown bread or to have it with crackers. So how do we actually set that up? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create, if you click on maintenance, we're going to create uh, a modifier. So click on menu and modifier groups. <coughs> so in here, at the moment, we only have three items in there. So we're going to set this up as uh, 100005. I don't think it's been used yet. Oh, sorry, too many zeros in there. Five. OK, so the short name is going to be um, cheese with maybe WTH to make it short. OK. Now, um, <coughs> so how many, um, every cheese platter must be sold with one of these. And we don't want people to choose crackers and brown bread. So we could if we wanted to, but in this case, we could decide actually no. And uh, the maximum number you can choose is one. The minimum number is one and the maximum number is one as well. Okay, uh, and let's click on save. OK, so we have the modifier group. We now need to create the actual modifiers. So if you click on maintenance and menu <coughs> and items, they're actually created as items. Now, just to keep things nice and tidy, we've put all of our modifiers down uh, here at 0, 1, just to kind of keep them together. And the last number there is uh, 0, 0, 008. So I'm going to set the first one up as 9. And that should empty it out for me. Um, so the short name uh, in here is going to be with, and again, I've got to keep it short to fit, fit on the cash register. So I'm going to just say with brown. Okay, and that'll appear on the chit name as well. That is what will appear in the kitchen. Um, and the long name, I'm going to say with brown bread. That'll appear on the, the customer's uh, check. Okay, so that's fine. And Okay, we'll create and um, we'll hit save and we'll create another one. So this one is going to be um, 10 and it's going to be with crackers and the chit name and the same for the long name. Okay, and we'll hit save. Now we need to say that these modifiers are applied to the platters that we created previously. So if we find the previous ones we had set up, which were our cheese platters, which were, I think were around the 600 mark, uh, here, our Irish cheese platter, we need to say that the modifier group needs to be attached. So modifiers, and the modifiers we want to attach are cheese with. Okay, so that now is attached to the Irish cheese platter. OK, and we click on save and then we'll go to the French cheese platter and we'll state that uh, cheese with is the modifier group that's attached to that and click on save. Um, the next thing we have to do is to add those modifiers uh, to the modifier group. So if we go to modifier groups and the cheese with group at the moment, there's nothing associated with it. So if we double click in here, and in here, we go down to there, down the bottom. Um, OK, so here, this is with brown bread. OK, that's fine and OK. And we'll again leave a little bit of a gap. And they're down the bottom and then with crackers and OK. So the cheese with modifier group has been associated with the Irish cheese platter and the French cheese platter, and we've stated that we need at least one and not more than one of these. And the two options associated with that are with brown bread or with crackers. And we hit save. So uh, this won't work now until we uh, update the data. Again, don't do this in the middle of service. So let's click on refresh data and click on yes. I've just um, opened up uh, the front of house, so we're going to click in here and we could say a table is two. 
And now when we select an Irish cheese platter, uh, it gives us an option with brown bread or with crackers. So for example, I can choose with brown bread. And if I choose French cheese platter, I can put that with crackers. And you can see here uh, how it's coming out. Okay, that's the end of this video.